Clint Eastwood about to speak. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Save a little for Mitt. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what's a movie tradesman doing uh, out here? You know, they're all left wingers out there, left of Lenin. <laughs> At least that's what people think, but that's not really the case. There's a lot of conservative people, a lot of moderate people, Republicans, Democrats in, in uh, Hollywood. It's just that conservative people, by the nature of the word itself, are play a little more close to the vest, and they don't go around uh, hot dog in it. So. Uh, <laughs> But, but they're there, believe me, they're there. And, uh, and I, I just, uh, I think, that in fact, there's some of them around town. I saw John Voigt, there's a lot of uh, people around here in town. John Zier, Academy Award winner, uh, terrific guy. And these people are all like-minded, like all of us. Uh, so I've got, um, I've got Mr. Obama sitting here. And he's, uh, I, I just was going to ask him a couple questions, but, uh, you know, about, uh, I, I, I remember three and a half years ago when Mr. Obama won the election, and uh, though I wasn't a big supporter, I was watching that night when he was uh, having that thing, and they were talking about hope and change, and they were talking about, yes, we can, and, and it was dark and it was outdoors, and it was nice, and people were lighting candles, and they were saying, uh, uh, you, you know, and, and I just uh, thought, this is great. I mean, everybody's crying. Oprah was crying. And uh, <laughs> I was even crying. And then finally, I haven't cried that hard since I found out that uh, there's 23 million unemployed people in this country. And now that, that is something uh, to cry for, because uh, that is a disgrace, a national disgrace. And we haven't done enough, obviously. Uh, this administration hasn't done enough to cure that. And uh, whatever, whatever uh, interest they have is, is not strong enough. And I think possibly now it may be time for somebody else to come along and solve the problem. So, Mr. President, how do you uh, how do you handle uh, how do you handle promises that you made when you were running for election, and how do you handle it, uh, how do you handle it? I mean, what do you say to people? Do you uh, do you just uh, you know? I know people uh, people were wondering. You don't you don't have it, okay? Well, I know even some of the people in your own party were very disappointed when you didn't close Gitmo. And I thought, uh, well, I think get closing Gitmo, why close that? We've spent so much money on it. Uh, but uh, I thought maybe it's an excuse. Uh, oh, you, what do you mean, shut up? <laughs> I, okay. It just, I thought it was just because somebody had a stupid idea of trying uh, terrorists in downtown New York City. Maybe that was it. I've got, to, I've got to hand it to you. I've, I've got to give credit where credit's due. You did overrule that, finally. And uh, uh, that's so, now we're moving onward. And I know in, in the, uh, I know you were against uh, the war in Iraq, and that, that's okay. Uh, but you thought the war in Afghanistan was, was uh, okay. You know, I mean, you thought that was something that was worth doing. We didn't check with the Russians to see how they did there for the 10 years. <laughs> but, but it, uh, we, we did it, and uh, it, it was um, 
it, you know, it, it's, uh, it's something to, uh, to be thought about. And I think that, uh, that when we get to uh, uh, maybe, uh, I think you mentioned something about having a target date for bringing everybody home. And you give that target date, and, uh, and I think uh, Mr. Romney asked the only sensible question on it. He says, why are you giving the date out now? Why don't you just bring them home tomorrow morning? And uh, I, thought, I, I thought, yeah, there's a, I, I'm not going to shut up. It's my turn. You know? So anyway, we got, we're going to have, uh, we're going to have to have a little chat about that. And then uh, I, I just wondered, these, all these promises, and then I, I wondered about, uh, uh, you know, when, when uh, the, uh, what? What do you want me to tell Romney? I can't tell him to do that. that can't do that to himself. You're, you're crazy. You're, you're absolutely crazy. You're getting as bad as Biden. I thought, of course, we all know Biden is the Biden is the intellect of the uh, Democratic Party. So we, uh, uh, just a kind of a kind of a grin with a body behind it, you know, it's just kind of a thing. But. Um, uh, I, I, just, uh, I just think that uh, there's so much to be done, and uh, I think that Mr. Uh, Mr. Romney and, and Mr. Ryan are two guys that can come along. I, see, I never thought that it was a good idea for attorneys to be president anyway, because it— <laughs> Yeah. I think, I think attorneys are so busy, you know, they're always taught to argue everything and always weigh everything and weigh both sides. And, and uh, they're always, uh, you know, uh, they're always uh, devils advocating this and bifurcating this and bifurcating that, you know, all that stuff. But uh, I think it's maybe time, what do you think, for maybe a uh, businessman? How about that? A stellar businessman, quote unquote, a stellar businessman. And I think it's that time. And I think if you just kind of stepped aside and Mr. Romney uh, can kind of take over, uh, you could still use the plane. They, they, though, though maybe a smaller one, not that big gas guzzler that you're driving around when you're going around to colleges and uh, talking about uh, student loans and stuff like that. I think. You're an ec ecological man. Why would you want to drive that truck around? Okay. Well, anyway. All right. I'm sorry. I can't do that to myself either. So, anyway. I'll see. But I'd just like to say something, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, something uh, that I think is very important is that you, we, we own this country. And it's not you owning it and not politicians owning it. Politicians are employees of ours. And uh, so they're just going to come around and beg for votes every few years, and it's the same old deal. But I just think that uh, it's important that you realize that, that, and, and that you're the best in the world. And uh, whether you're Democrat or whether you're a pro Republican or whether you're a Libertarian or whatever, you're the best, and we should not ever forget that. And we, when somebody does not do the job, we've got to let them go.
okay? Just remember that. And I'm speaking out for everybody out there. It, it doesn't hurt. We don't have to be... I don't say that word anymore. Well, maybe one last time. We don't have to be... What I'm saying is we don't have to be metal masochists and vote for somebody that we don't even really want in, the, in, the, uh, in office. We, just because they uh, seem to be nice guys, or maybe not so nice guys, if you look at some of the recent ads going out there, I don't know. But, but um, okay. You ought to make my day. Uh, uh, I, all right. I'll start it. You finish it. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you very much.